recorded from somewhere high in the Hollywood Hills with your host, Nice and Fargo. This is Break Hollywood. Roll that dice. Hello, I'm Fargo. And I'm Nice Touch. And welcome to this episode of Break Hollywood. A talk show where we take you from survival to thrival. thrival in the film and television industry. You may have your head in the stars. But our boots are on the ground. Helping you get your name on the walk of fame. This week we're going to talk about something very important, especially if you're going to do television, which is knowing your, your type. type. And what do we mean by that? Are you a chubby football player or a fat best friend? Sometimes the industry just sees you as they want to see you. I mean, you might be one of the best B-girls to ever rock the floor, but for some reason they want to keep casting you as a pole dancer. We've had some experience uh, being in this town. If uh, Do they get our type right? You know, I always thought I was a young rock star with the ass of a teenage boy. And I came to Hollywood, took me about five years to get here. By the time I arrived, they said, you know, you look like you could have had a, a teenage boy with some head problems. Fargo here. I may not know my type, but if you think you are, tweet me, at Fargo. Let's discuss what are the typical types that casting directors are looking for. Like the young politician, or a quirky hipster. You could portray the typical M magician's sex slave. Or the oppressed heterosexual on the verge of a sexual identity breakthrough. Uh, nice touch. Would you like to go for a drink after this show? Yes, I would. Nailed it. You might think of yourself as a dramatic actress ready to play addicts, struggling athletes, superheroes, and you might continually get cast as a comedic actress playing airheads and escorts and trophy wives. But you know what? Sometimes you have to break into the industry before you can break out of all those stereotypes. We just want to encourage you to really own up to who you are. Who you are is right for the job. There is no competition for your type. So if, you know, like myself, when I, you know, used to try to pass myself off as Margot Robbie, I kept hitting, hitting my head hard against a brick wall. But as soon as I realized that I was a, a sophisticated couch tater, doors opened up. You can just take a look at our news of the week. Yeah. Adam Driver. Adam Driver. Do you think he went around trying to be Brad Pitt? No, he tried to be a, uh, a sardonic, brutally honest, urban, sexual deviant. And by God, he plays one to the hilt on uh, Lena Dunham's Girls. So, there's no, there's no right way to be yourself, except just be yourself. So whether you're a 20-something starlet on the hunt for a great career, or a lugubrious housewife with a rapacious sexual appetite. With a really big vocabulary. Only you can decide how you're gonna break, break Hollywood. Hollywood. So this week, you can tweet us at Nice and Fargo with your headshot and we'll tell you what your, your type, type is. is. Click subscribe. What else do we want them to do? Tune in next week. The theme is a surprise, even to us. Cheers, mamas and papas. Edgy hipsters, sassy clowns, young politicians, ass dragons. Yeah.